and welcome back to another day of carbs here on Reckless Eating. I am Matt Zion, going alone here today, as I always do on carbs. I don't even know why I said that. This is a show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Today, we're going to be trying a new product from Wendy's. This is their pretzel pub chicken sandwich. As you can see, uh, they did a great job boxing it. This is lettuce hanging out of the thing. That doesn't mean I'm going to eat lettuce, by the way. Once again, I will be pissing off everybody else by taking out the lettuce and the tomatoes, which doesn't look that good to begin with. It's just, look, it's like falling off. It's all just like stacked oddly. Half of it didn't even make it into the chicken sandwich. So I did try on a Wee Shorts the uh, hamburger pretzel that they are, the pretzel hamburger, the pretzel? The pretzel hamburger sandwich that they have. And I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I will say, since that review, I'd give it even higher rating. It is really delicious. I quite enjoy it. And I've gotten it a few times just on a whim. So, okay, let's take off this disgusting tomato. Ugh. ugh, ugh. Let me know uh, in the comments down below why I'm stupid because I take all that stuff off. If you can see it in there, they sauced the sh out of this thing. And I think that is a great, great move. I'm hoping this is just as good as the burger. Uh, I, it's impossible to get this without being covered in sauce. But let's go ahead and do it. Oh, that looks, that looks really good. By the way, this is pretty expensive, so it better be amazing. This is about, uh, I think it was like five fifty or something like that, or five dollars and thirty cents, somewhere in that ballpark in the, the five dollar range. My mouth is watering though, looking at this. I, I have high expectations. Here we go. The Wendy's Pretzel Pub Chicken Sandwich. Oh my God, that is so good. Oh, sauce, the cheese, oh everything complements it so well. That is delicious I have to close this and stop myself from eating it now I'll save it for dinner I'm not that hungry but oh my god I would I would consume this whole thing if I could if I allowed myself to this is a spectacular product a lot of times chicken sandwiches and we've even had it on the show here before they dry your mouth out it's just what chicken does you know high class chicken doesn't do that when you go to a restaurant and stuff but fast food chicken sandwiches usually dry your mouth out this they sauced it up so much, was not drying my mouth out in the least. This is spectacular. I think this is even better than the burger, and I do like the burger a lot. I give this one five out of five matte faces. The only thing that might hold it back from uh, seal of approval is its price. It is pretty expensive. You can go out and get five chicken sandwiches for $5 from everywhere else, including Wendy's. They have their own dollar chicken sandwich. But with this one, of course, you know, this is a every once in a while dinner item, not an all the time thing. This is so good. You need to go out and check this out. I personally love this. This is a great way to use the bread. I still wish there was some uh, salt on there, like in a traditional pretzel. I think that would be interesting. Maybe they tried it. They tried the marketing on it and it just didn't work. I don't know. But I also wanted to give a apology <laughs> to uh, Late Chow, uh, they actually, it was Josh actually got me the game Bulgar the Viking for our Zion mainframe playthrough. And uh, you can see that it's gonna be linked in the description down below. Uh, I thanked the wrong person. I thanked Rudy Eats uh, star Greg, his partner, Rudy's partner, Greg. I just completely screwed up. So I wanted to give an apology for that as somebody drives by and is like, what's this guy doing? But yeah, go ahead and check out that video though, and uh, thank you to Late Chow for giving me, getting me that video and hooking me up and with that video game, not video. But there you go, guys. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs. We have three more to come, and I do. I always apologize for having three videos in a day, but it's gonna happen for at least five days in a row. So most of you don't seem to care very much. If you do, tell me in the comments down below so I can ignore you. And thank you for joining me. As always, see you next time.